we do not want to have a country where anybody is victimized because of their exercise of their freedom of choice. We may not like the elected leaders, but they are the elected leaders. And our duty as elected leaders from the presidency to MCA is to listen. We may not agree with everything we hear, but we have a duty to listen. And I want to urge the government and the government zealots to tone down the thumb chesting that there is nothing to discuss about. There are very many things in this country to discuss about. And I want to implore the president of the day, yeah, that we do not want him to be coerced to concede anything. But as a nation, we expect of him to listen. He has to listen to all citizens, those who agree with him and those who do not. Because it is through listening that we can chat out. Demonstrations are allowed under the constitution of the republic. It's allowed in Article 37. The same way it's allowed by Article 17 of the constitution of South Africa. Or uh, Section 1.1 of the preamble of the constitution of France. In his right, it's not even in the constitution. But people come out and demonstrate. Even new journalists, we condemn in the strongest terms possible the attacks we are seeing from the police against the journalists. We cannot nurture democracy by doing those kind of uncouth acts. Those acts should not happen in a country where there is democracy. You have a right as media to, you know, pass over information to the public. So we want to remind the head of the police, the inspector general, it is primitive to start this uh, script where you want to attack journalists to discourage them from passing information to Kenyans. The constitution is very clear that Kenyans have a right to receive information and the media must be protected and it must be made free and independent. So in the case of the Kenyan government, the Kenyan government is Report to us. We want to know what's happening. The countries I've mentioned in Israel, France, South Africa, people have demonstrated, but we don't see the kind of killings that we are seeing in this country. And we have to remind the IG that accountability will stop in his at his doorstep. The person who was taken to ICC last time was the head of the police commissioner then, Ali. So he also needs to be careful to know that there is not only local laws, but we also have international community that is watching. And to President William Ruto, he is the leader who needs to step down. And I want to agree with the other leaders who have spoken, Steve Mogaka. Let him call out his stupid president regarding the we don't like that bravado. When you are a leader, you have to be more responsible than what we are seeing from our duty president. Because you are making the temperatures to be heightened. You are increasing the tension instead of reducing the tension. So let him call to order our duty president regarding Ashabu. This idea of calling people, see you have no shareholders, others have shareholders, we don't like that. Asante kwa kuifatilia Bahari TV. Usisahau ku like, ku subscribe, ku comment na ku share.